AMS2 or Automobilista2 have a few had a few days ago the release of the release candidate for v, V1.4.8, which adds the Formula Junior, the IndyCar 2023, Barcelona, but most importantly, V1.5 physics to a few cars. So now I am going to re- go around the Barcelona circuit in a Formula Ultimate Gen 1 and Gen 2 because the Gen 1 only has V1.4 physics, whilst the Gen 2 has V1.5 physics, to see what the big difference is. So let's get into Automobilista 2 and drive around Barcelona. Okay, so now we are in the car. Let's start the engine. And let me go out. And I will talk to you. I will talk to you about the physics and how I feel about the V1.4 physics. So, in my opinion, the V1.4 physics are quite all right, but the obvious main issue with them has been the sliding. So if you listen to the tires, wait through here. It's, I obviously tried to induce oversteer through there. But if you listen to, or if you're driving and have that tires on, you will obvi- sort of hear it also when I'm trying to drive. The rear really wants to step out. So like through there, I have to be very sensitive on the throttle for it to actually work. So, so it you have to be really cautious when driving because sliding is a very from thing and the thing with sliding also with the older cars is that that apparently may it was how you had to drive them to go quickly and the cars don't feel as direct as they maybe should So what I mean is that when driving in, it doesn't fully feel like the car is with you. That's what I mean. So here you're braking in quite heavily, so you can obviously brake a bit later through there. And then I'm just telling you I'm running on default setups. So let me just finish this one lap and then we'll jump into into the Formula Ultimate Gen 2 and see how it drives. But uh, what I'm just telling you here, they feel quite planted. They don't feel super direct. Accidentally focused on other things, but yeah, they don't feel super direct, these cars. Or point, I should say. So you can really push, push the car through there. So I'm having an issue with my DRS button, but I think it's time to get into the Formula Ultimate Gen 2. So now we're in the Formula Ultimate V2. So let's see how this car feels. And this is truly my first time. So let's just put the pit limit on in anticipation. So let's feel. Okay, so going on the throttle there, I could just pu- push it. Oh, oh my god. Because this car feels very direct and has a very loose rear. I think it could be due to the low ride height, it seems. But I think for the current RC build which I'm driving on, I think that w- that's one of the main reported issues is the bounciness of the cars. But the rear doesn't step out as much. But it feels the car feels good. Yeah, it's 
drives where you want it to go. Yeah, it's really pointy, this car. Oh, I didn't brake so much. And another issue they have found was the brake bias in the basic setup being quite a bit low. Or towards the rear. But the car feels very pointy. And you could hear the car he, uh, what's it called? Bottoming, in, bottoming out. So this cut feels really direct, and it doesn't feel so stable in the rear. And you could probably see in the traces. Oh, how I couldn't go full throttle through turn one, turn two, and especially turn three due to the rear just sliding. So what I'm saying now, with this car, is that it feels quite a bit like how the Formula USA, the kart cars felt around the ovals. Felt like the rear really wanting to step out. But you could see through there, it's really good. I really like this car now. But the rear is prone to oh, You see through there at slow speed, it's really good. But then when you get up to higher speeds, you can see it drifts. It's like the slip angle. Some issue with the slip angle it feels like. Because the rear just likes to step out a ton. But it's fully controllable, so that's a bit odd. So it's like the front really wanting to turn, but the rear isn't... Yeah, it's not fully oversteer because it's the front turning and then the rear isn't keeping up. But then out of the corners, the grip is amazing now. I can just stamp on the brakes and it turns. See through there, I can easily go flat through there. Well, that probably shows the physics for this car that this basic setup is a bit too pointy, you can say, through. Yeah, it's a bit too pointy with the aerodynamics because at me because at low speed it's mechanical grip. Ha medium and high speed, the ha ha the quicker you go, the more aerodynamics is within the setup. So the more front wing, rear wing, rake, and diffuser and all of that. So that's the main issue with I would say the basic setup cur currently as of this build. But, sh maybe we should go and have a go in a car which was designed with this physics in mind. And what I'm talking about is the Formula USA 2023. Let's start this 2.2 litre V8 engine. Oh, it sounds quite nice. Obviously, I have to engage the clutch to go into first. Oh. Let's see how this car feels. And uh, if you didn't see, we are er in Indianapolis. So, we are on cold tires. So, let's just do some heating up. Let's try and heat them up. But at the start, it feels very direct. And they feel quite good, the car. And, oh, it had quite a lot of braking performance too. And obviously this car doesn't have 
power steering since the actual Indica doesn't have power steering in real life and this is sort of based upon it because they made the one based upon the actual model of the car and that was got an NDA no not an NDA it got a they was Penske I think it was or or Motorsport game said it's too close and they don't have the license so it shouldn't be allowed so now they have this so let's see how it performs and I brake too late but this car it feels quite nice Really shaky. But this car has a lot of traction. It feels really nice, this car, actually. This car is quite pointy, but it's obviously not, it doesn't have as much downforce as the Formula Ultimate. Which is a good thing, I would say, because now you can, you have to push, have to push it a bit too more when going through corners. And what I mean is you don't have downforce to just help you, you have to fight the car a bit more. Drive through here. Let's keep on going, and you can feel the you can see the bounciness. Now they don't don't end off this lap. I think I should talk about what I think about the updates. But it sounds quite nice. You can ha it has a bit of slip angle. But it doesn't slide a lot and it has quite a lot of traction. So what do we think? W what do I think? Well, Formula USA really good. The Formula Ultimate Gen 1, it is quite nice, but still a bit sluggish. The Formula Ultimate Gen 2, very pointy, very nice. Except the oversteer in the mainly turn 3 and yeah, turn 1 to 2 a little bit, but mainly turn 3. And then you have, what more is there? Yeah, and maybe through, what is it? Not turns, is it turn 6? But the the mediums long right hander quite tight which leads on to the first straight so that's what i think but what do you think comment down below and once you're done there please hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button and also the bell icon to know my when my videos are released my next video will be on hmm let's see it will maybe be on a few cars in the sim or we'll have to see maybe another game gets an update or enough something else happens we'll see but until then i've been racing legend you've been my amazing thank you for watching good bye <laughs>